Mega Snack. The Chancellor's here. Silence, silence. Hopefully you're having a positive and productive day, people. Yes, hopefully you're having a positive and productive day worldwide. It's your man, Jay Petty, checking in. Hey, I got some gifts, guys. I got some gifts. Oh, yeah, I got some gifts. Let me put this on. This is a content creator, I am content face mask. So I'm going to put this on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. So, got this from I Am Content. Uh, she is selling her mask. She is a YouTube content creator, guys. Also, also, her cup. I got her cup, too, guys. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And on the back, it says, cool, calm, caring, and contented. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's from I Am Content on YouTube. She's another... Uh, content creator guys so i'm going i'm actually i'm actually going to a fashion show tonight i'm going to a fashion show tonight so i got an extra one i got two so i'm gonna give one of these away to someone um but yeah today is a good day y'all today is a good day for me i went out i did some grocery shopping as y'all call it making groceries i made groceries for myself i had to get some grub some good food in the crib uh you know tv's dinners was just getting on my nerves y'all but I want to talk about something that I see is growing as a trend, and I think it needs to be discussed. So, the future is interracial. The future is interracial. What? Huh? The future is interracial. As we look on TVs and in movies, commercials, social media, our everyday life, whether you walking down the street, people, at a restaurant, you're with your friends and your family, the votes have been tallied. And the future is interracial. Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm not talking about just relationships. Nah. I'm not just talking about relationships or marriages or boyfriend and girlfriends or even penis and vagina action. I'm talking about the images, the influences that flood our televisions, that flood our eyes and our phones as well. See, I I did a little personal research myself, right? I watched three major networks. And I watched these networks and I, I was looking at their commercials. And out of the commercials, it was overwhelmingly, you saw a lot of mixed couples, a lot of interracial couples. Black man, white woman, black woman, white man, black woman, Latino man, uh, black man, Indian woman, things of that nature. It was mixed up. And I saw these images and I said, whoa, hmm. This is interesting. And I also thought back to this movie called Princess and the Frog. Y'all remember that? It's a Disney movie, Princess and the Frog. And the the black princess, because we've been waiting so long to get a black princess. But the black princess ended up falling in love with a uh, a Middle Easterner, a Middle Eastern uh prince in the movie, Princess and the Frog. I thought that was very, very interesting. What came back on these networks and these commercials was interracial stuff being pumped out there. Now, is this an agenda or is this what's actually going on? Is this what's going on? I I live in Chicago and I was downtown the other day, right? And I did see a good amount of interracial couples. I saw... I saw a lot of mix-ups going on. And I'm not saying it's bad or good. Me, personally, I think it's good. I have no qualms, no issues with it. You date with, you date whoever want to date you, whoever love you, whoever care for you. Love is love. But I thought, I said, man, why? 
do people cultures, each culture and race, don't want to be with their own race? You think about the Italians, you think about the Greeks, you think about the Latinos, you think about the Indians, Mexicans, Native Americans, black men and black women. And it's like, nobody really want to be with their people. Everybody is spreading out. Uh, also, they said 48% of people in college... First, that's the first time they have their first interracial experience. 48% when they get to college. Think about it. You getting off the block, you getting out your neighborhood, and you say, okay, okay. Them white boys is kind of smooth. Them white boys is kind of cool. They not all nerdy. Oh, black men, are, black men are kind of cool. They not all violent and angry as the media try to portray them. Hmm. The future, people, is interracial, whether you like it or not. See, back then, people had to have their interracial relationships. They couldn't go outside. They had to keep it under wraps, undercover, right? It wasn't, it wasn't smiled upon. It was frowned upon. You hear me? A lot of people treated you like an outcast if you dated outside your race. Hmm. I know we got some people that are going to say, well, I, I, I love my black kings and I love my black queens. And that's fine. I get it. Yes, that's, that's good. Continue to do so. But we got the television. We got movies. We got these magazines. We got all these images. We got all these images. All these images flooding us. And they are interracial couples. So it makes you think. I remember when Game of Thrones came out. When Game of Thrones came out. And Khaleesi. Amelia Clark. The first season. She had a scene where she had her clothes off. And she was so milky. And she had that long hair. And she was getting into the tub. And I said look at this milky. Blonde hair woman. Look at Khaleesi. Wow. Wow. I watch foreign networks a lot, too. Like, I watch a lot of overseas radio. I mean, not radio, but television. And uh, in the UK and in London, you got a lot of their television shows and their commercials. They showing a lot of black men with Indian women or African and Jamaican men with Indian women. That's prevalent over there in the UK. They got a lot of that going on. Yeah. You got a lot of the, the black women. You see them with white men, whether they Polish or Greek or Italian or Scandinavian or Norwegian. I have a friend. I have a friend. And I was talking with her a while back. And we grew up together. And it seems as though in our culture, African-American culture, we, we care about the bees. The bees. What are the bees? Your body, your booty, and your breasts. Your body, your booty, and your breasts. And she was telling me how she felt objectified. She just felt like a sex dial, a piece of flesh. Because every time she came outside, there was always a black man trying to get in her pants or talk about her booty or her shape. But... She said when she went to college and started dating white men, they cared about her brains. Her brains. That's the other B we don't discuss. She said that white man cared about her brains and what was inside of her mind and wanted to actually get to know her. So she opted for dating and marrying a white man. Hmm. Then I have my other friend. She said she didn't have a body. She didn't have a body. She had a flat butt. She had little breasts. You know, she was kind of nerdy. She was a kind of, as I think back, kind of weird. I mean, we were friends because we shared some of the same interests. And I, I love weird people. I am the king of weird people. I love. If you are weird and you do different things, you are in my clique. We strange. We don't like to do regular deck. But, see, she didn't have a body. She was kind of nerdy. And so black men didn't want to get with her. So she took her talents to 
the Asian side. My friend, she's married to an Asian man, and she's happy. And I'm happy for her. We usually hang out in the summer. We hang out in the park. We go to concerts together, things of that nature. She's in love. And I love to see my friend happy and smiling. Huh. The future is interracial. Why are so many cultures and races mixing it up? Why? And media has a role in this. Media has a role in this. We think about black men. And a lot of women are saying, well, black men are dating all these white women. And we look on YouTube, they call it the YouTube streets. And you do have a nice amount of men that bash women. And you do have a nice amount of women that bash men. You have your channels where they bash black men. They talk about black men. You have your channels where they talk about black women and they bash black women. And everybody has their difference of opinion. But it's seeming as though black men and black women don't want to be with each other. You hear this, you hear this. They taking our good men. They taking our high value men. They taking our good men. Look at Kanye. Look at the basketball players. Look at the rappers. Look at the entertainers. Look at the baseball players and the football players. They all got white girls. And Latino girls and Asian girls, they don't want a sister. They don't want a sister. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. We also have this narrative. So, so Weedy, so Weedy, uh, she's a rapper. And she made a comment. She said, if a, if a man ain't paying your bills or buying you a Birkin bag, give him back to the street. He's no, he's not needed. <laughs> he's not needed. So wait, a Birkin bag is forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand. Wow, wow. Who got forty thousand dollars to spend on a purse? When all you gonna carry in that purse is hot sauce, hand sanitizer, napkins, and your blunts and your makeup kit. Who got forty thousand dollars for that? Not me. I'm sorry. You can call me cheap all you want to, but baby. I don't have it right now. Now, if I get it, you know, we can look into if I got that type of money. Now, we gonna get into Kamala Harris. Now, Kamala Harris, I think about Kamala Harris and Olivia Pope. Remember that TV show? Olivia Pope was having an affair with a white man. Yeah. And we think about Kamala Harris, a woman that's in power. Her husband... Is white, which is which is good, which is good. As long as you are happy, I have no problem with it. But think about the message that sends, and then we think about um, the princess, the princess. What's her name? She 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 married one of those royal people. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. The princess, the princess. I can't think of her name. It escapes me right now. It escapes me. But y'all know, she married into royalty. She was a black woman. And she married into royalty. Uh, one of, she married into the royal family. I think about Lori Lightfoot, the Chicago mayor. She has a white wife. The future is interracial, people. It's all on your television. It's all in your TV shows. They are sending out messages that, hey, it's okay to mix it up. It's okay to love somebody else that ain't of your race or culture. Now, that's a TV show. And it's based around lesbianism or the gay culture. And I was studying it and looking at it, and it's even... A lot of the gay culture. You got Latino women with black women and black women with white women and Asian women with white women. It's mixing up. It's not as taboo. 
No one is not hiding. No one is not afraid. Everyone is coming out. People just want to be happy. They just want to be happy. So that's why I tell people that the future is interracial. The things that your daddy said, I want you to stay away from them black men. Them black men are not good for you. He's going to beat you. He's going to yell at you. They don't have any money. They're not going to take care of you. Well, mm, the daughters now are saying, you know what? I'm not listening to my daddy. I just want to be happy. And I'm hoping I pick a good black man. And that white woman is saying, you know what? I'll give that Latino guy a try. I'll give that black man a try. And that black woman is saying, you know what? I like that white man. He's pretty cool. He treats me right. I like that Asian guy. I'm not going to listen to what they are saying in the past. Asian guys are cool. Latino guys are cool. Love. Love. The future is interracial, people. Silence.